She has decked out the White House this year again in her exquisite style. Here's some images released by the White House of her designs. Surely they're newsworthy, surely they're beautiful, but for the fact she's married to Trump. And so the media party has been trashing her and her style. Joining us now to talk about this inversion of beauty is Mary Margaret Olahan, the social issues correspondent for The Daily Caller, who joins us now via, via Skype uh, from Washington. Nice to meet you, Mary Margaret. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Well, I read your Twitter stream, and I had no idea that the media party, which is I call the mainstream media, has moved from just ignoring Melania Trump to actually claiming she looks ridiculous, this is awful. I mean, it's one thing for them to ignore beauty, but for them to call beauty ugly, it's crazy. Yeah, it's very weird. It's very, very odd to say the least. Um, so she decorated the White House so beautifully with all these decorations, very classic Christmas decorations. And, um, you know, you'd think they would look at them and say, okay, these are classic Christmas decorations. Like, we'll, we'll sit back on this one, but no, they have to go and attack her over this. So she's been lambasted over these Christmas decorations. Critics have said that they look like they're out of The Shining or that they, um, they look cold and creepy. And there was one Washington Post article that said that her coat was ridiculous. As it said, okay, okay, the Christmas decorations are fine, but Melania's coat looks ridiculous. So they're just trying to find every way to mock her and to make fun of these beautiful Christmas decorations. And it's very concerning as to why. Um, why they would be doing this. And the answer probably is that she's married to President Donald Trump, as you were saying. Well, I can't think of any other possible answer. I mean, uh, Jackie Kennedy was very beautiful. Um, I think uh, that she's perhaps the only rival in just standard objective terms of beauty to Melania. But I, I and Melania is completely inoffensive. She, she never takes stands. She's not a crusader like Michelle Obama was. She's not trying to ban tasty snack food from high schools. Right. I mean, she's, right. she's not a crusader. There's really no way to dislike her other than the obvious, which is she happened to marry a Republican president that the media doesn't like. Right, now she's very graceful. She's very composed. Um, she spends a lot of time on her Be Best campaign, which I know it's part of this Christmas theme. I think she had Scrabble letters on some of the Christmas trees, um, spelling out the words Be Best. Um, which is, you know, a very like bipartisan campaign designed to unite people across the board to help children. Um, but again, she's still being attacked for these things. Um, and if you compare this to how Michelle Obama was treated with her Christmas decorations, you can go back and look at what Michelle Obama used. Her decorations were also beautiful. Um, I mean, you can compare and contrast. Other people might have different tastes, but they were fine Christmas decorations. But she was treated. Um, with no disrespect whatsoever. Everyone just praised her decorations. Now, Michelle and Barack even um, allowed Christmas decorations to be sent in from different groups, which should put these Christmas decorations together. And they allowed a Christmas decoration with a picture of Mao on it, um, a Chinese dictator who killed thousands of people to hang on a Christmas tree in the White House. Um, they also allowed a Christmas ornament to hang on a tree in the White House showing a drag queen. Um, which are things, you know, like those are controversial elements. You don't see controversial elements like that in this year's White House. Um, there's a nativity scene, which um, is actually like welcomed by many Christians across the country, considering that's what Christmas is all about. Um, so it's just two very different playing fields that we're looking at here, um, Michelle and Melania. That's an excerpt from The Ezra Levant Show, which is a show I do every day. I do a monologue, interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at premium.rebelnews.com.